spent plenty of time on that side of the line. Probably not so much on this side. It's usually when you're injured and you're watching the team. I'm really excited about this because it's a totally different challenge and something I haven't done before. David, how you Hi, going? Hi, mate. Nice to finally meet you. I hear you're a very, very keen photographer. Keen, not that yeah. good, but very keen. <laughs> Pretty exciting to be able to get behind the lens, learn from someone who you know, does that full time. It is, this is harder than it looks. That's a whole different ball game. When you're looking through a lens, huh? I've watched a lot of rugby, but not, you know, not, not, not like that. Following the game and also focusing and remembering to shoot, uh, at times something good would happen and I'd just be watching rather than trying to, trying to capture the right moment. You have such an advantage knowing the game as well as you do because the whole thing about sports photography is trying to predict what is going to happen so you're ready. Oh, stay on it. Go wide. There we go. The, the old saying is if you see it, you've missed it. If you're not already shooting that moment, 99% of the time it's already happened. Okay, so they're running towards us. I look for the ball always. There you go. Straight at us. Now that is what you want. Try right in front of you. When did you actually realise that you were really, really interested in taking pictures? I started as a kid, loved wildlife. Would spend hours out there with mum and dad's little camera and they'd say, yeah, you can, you can take four photos. <laughs> so I'd spend hours and end up with like a little photo of one of the birds that I loved. I'd have a little hide where I could sit and they wouldn't know I was there. As I got older, I guess thinking about how photography can be used to tell a story. Totally agree with you on that. I guess a big part of it was thinking about wanting to try and tell stories that would, I don't know, maybe get people interested. Photography is just so powerful. When you're trying to show people something and you can do it with a picture, yeah. you get their interest, in my opinion, way more than you do with, with words. We have what's called a photographer's read, where <laughs> you basically should be able to tell every story by looking at the pictures. Wait for the ball to come out to the back, so it'll be much better. Here we now go. You want to get the forwards. <laughs> at the end of a World Cup, there is always a collection of photographs that people remember, moments that people remember, and a stills image captures that. All the things that happened in that game into one image so that people understand what's happened. Oh, nice, mate. Well done. That's all right. Mate, that's, that's really nicely framed. There you go. That's how you score a try. Let's do some of the girls, guys. Oh, look at that. Go, oh, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh! Oh, that's fantastic. I oh, will definitely look at those ones later. Well, a few action shots from the from the game earlier. A couple of really strong carries. <laughs> I love that. I'm looking forward to seeing some of the, the shots on the computer. Uh, we'll see what I got, I don't know. We're gonna look at the ones that worked. That's the best one. Yeah. That is by far the best one, okay. She's just run through everybody. But the best crop for this picture is tight yeah. because it will make her hair stand out so much more. It's a ball sport. Yeah. You've got to have the ball in it. Mate, nice frame. That's cool. Nice frame. Now this one is absolutely all about cropping tights. So that, ah, it's fantastic. You know what you could do is actually make it a vertical, which would make it stand out even more. I'm a big fan of horizontal pictures, but there's no reason why that can't happen. There you go, the guy scoring the try. And you nailed it. He's pin sharp there, and he's flying. Beautiful. Nice one. That's really nice. Mate, I'm impressed. Well done, mate. Thank Start. you. Well done. I'm impressed. Thanks for the tips. Huh? No problem. As far as David's future is concerned, he absolutely can be a very good photographer. He's picked it up very quickly. Do I think he's probably a better photographer than a rugby player? Not so sure.